Welcome to a Hanging With section, and today we're hanging with the Haas brothers. This is Charlie, this is Russ. These guys are from Edmond, Oklahoma, and of course, the great pro wrestling tradition of Oklahoma, the Briscoe brothers, Bill Watts and Danny Hodge, just to name a few. Were you fans of these guys when you were young kids? Yes, we were. We uh, grew up with Mid-South Wrestling, and uh, it was tradition every Saturday. We stuck to the TV to watch all those wrestlers that you named, especially the ones from Oklahoma, and hope that one day we could fulfill our dream in doing that. And of course, as a tag team, uh, you must have kind of followed the Briscoe brothers, huh? Oh, uh, we were big fans of uh, the Briscoes. Still are. And of course, you guys uh, both got scholarships to wrestle at Seton Hall in college. How'd that go, Charlie? It was good. We, um, we started with amateur wrestling, and Oklahoma is also well known for its amateur wrestling, as well as the uh, lineage of pro wrestling. So we uh, took it to a level to where we were training all summer long, um, camp after camp, where we won, both won uh, state titles in Oklahoma and then earned Division I scholarships to Seton Hall University. Of course, you got interested in a lot of other things besides wrestling while you were at Seton Hall, too, right? Yeah, I uh, worked down at the recycling uh, factory. Recycling. <laughs> you were recycling yeah. at the recycling. Paper. Way to go, Russ. All right. And, of course, you took another path, right, Charles? That's right. I took an alternate route. Uh, I ended up working on Wall Street for Goldman Sachs for five years as a stockbroker. And on the weekends, Russ and I were wrestling all the independents all over the Northeast, trying to... Uh, see which is going to pay off, whether our fantasy or reality, and it looks like the uh, fantasy of pro wrestling paid off for us. Well, Jim Kentner had a hand in helping you guys get the step up, right? Oh, definitely. We give um, a lot lot for Jim. We do anything for him. He trained us, and, uh, you know, we are here because of him today. Of course, you guys have got developmental contracts with the WWF, and, of course, that's the next step in the Haas Brothers lineage, and uh, you think that's going to happen pretty soon, Charlie? Well, you know, we're here at HWA for one reason. That's to develop our talent to get to the top. Uh, the World Wrestling Federation is our goal. It's been our goal ever since we started this. And uh, I think we have what it takes to get there. And uh, under, uh, you know, the tutelage of you and, uh, and all the other wrestlers that we work with, we hope that we can, uh, you know, accomplish our dream. Russ, you've, you've met a lot of tag teams uh, in your, your run. Uh, what do you think a couple of the toughest are? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, some of the toughest... I Island boys are very tough right now for us. Uh, we've been going back and forth for the last year with them. And uh, I'd say Joey Matthews, Christian York, they're a big tag team out there. They should be, uh, you know, up, up in the spot soon. Um, there's so many. They're so all many. tough, right, when you get to this level? Yes, they are. <laughs> you know, uh, talking about tough uh, competition, of course, the WCW invasion has just uh, started in recent weeks here in the HWA. Uh, give us some uh, your insight on that, please, Trump. Well, you know, uh, we look at it as an obstacle to get to where we want to go. You know, we've had obstacles thrown in our way ever since from amateur wrestling all the way up to pro wrestling. And we just look at it as another obstacle to overcome to fulfill our dream. It's a big obstacle, that's for sure. You know, it was, uh, took us by surprise. We didn't expect the WCW to invade like that. Um, it's thrown a wrench into our plans. But uh, like every other tag team that we must face, uh, we're just going to have to you know, come up with a game plan and uh, just come out strong. So it's kind of like line them up and bring them on. You're ready to face anybody, right, Russ? Oh, I love it. You know, that's what I do for a living. I take people down. <laughs> Russ and Charlie at the Haas Brothers. You're going to be seeing a lot of them on not only HWA, but in the very near future on WWF. That's been Hanging With today on HWA Wrestling.